Okay. If we all die, we die together. <laughs> oh. Hello wonderful people, Hannah here and welcome back to another episode of Insta360 TV. Um, weather's been a little bit rubbish and I've been wanting to escape to the wilderness and my plan has come to fruition. So what we're going to do today is go right into the wilderness, try get the most epic star laps that we can and just have a little bit of fun in a rented SUV. So let's escape the city and go together. Sometimes, to get to the quieter places in life, you need to take the road less traveled. Oh! <laughs> if we all die, we die together. <laughs> oh. Oh. So if you've made it up until now, you're probably wondering why we're going on such a tumultuous journey into the middle of nowhere. So the perfect star lapse location is somewhere with very little light that is going to contaminate the shot. So of course, in the city, we ain't gonna get that. Secondly, we just want something really, a really super clean landscape with not too much disturbance because you don't want too much movement besides the stars. So we've came here to a super deserted beach area. Civilization doesn't even exist here. So, yeah, we're gonna check out a few other spots and then we come back tonight and I'll talk you through the more detailed and slightly more serious steps to getting a super epic star lap. As you can see, ridiculously, ridiculously dark, apart from our little portable light. Uh, this is one of the most important parts for star laps because if you're in the city, for example, you're going to get a lot of light pollution and it just looks really fuzzy and ruins the shot. So if you have the luxury of traveling to the butt end of nowhere, then do that for the best result. Okay, power bank, let's do this. We've got a type C power bank here. And now let's get the camera setting ready. So to generate the in-camera setting for Star Labs, all we need to go is down to the right hand side where the shooting modes are. And when you click on this, the camera will automatically set the exposure and the interval times, which means you don't need to do anything but freeze out in the darkness. Then when you're ready to go, just click the record button, leave your camera out for hours, hope for the best and I'll see you guys in the morning. This is what life's all about. Chase the sunsets and sunrises. So for sunrise, we're gonna set up a quick time lapse, grab some breakfast, then hopefully go and get our star lapse tripod and pray that nothing happened to it.
back at the scene of the crime and the good news is regardless of the winds uh, our Starlapse camera managed to stay out all night which is great uh, so now it's the moment of truth to see how it turned out but most importantly if you guys want to try this yourself all you need to do is connect your camera to your phone and then you head over to the Shot Lab section within the app if you're not familiar with what Shot Lab is it is a catalogue of AI editing templates which means you can get kind of after effects style videos with just a few clicks of a button but for this one we're going to use star laps so you choose that template put your applicable footage in there then the app does the rest so without further ado this is how ours turned out Our time in the beautiful wilderness has to come to a close and we're going to head back to the city now. But the moral of this story ultimately is that staying out late to shoot the stars or chasing the sunrise at 5am in the morning is absolutely exhausting. But it's these moments that are always worth it. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with our tips, tricks and adventures here in City 60 TV and all the usual stuff. Chase adventure and I'll see you. Yeah. <laughs>